Hi, I'm Paul from VeloX and I'm going to talk to you about why I love my 90s ATB. So in my never-ending search for very distinctive bikes, I came across this lovely Chinelli Argento Vivo 90s or very early 90s mountain bike. Apparently it was made by Gary Fisher um, and was Cinelli's attempt at kind of breaking into the mountain bike world. I was very lucky to find this. Uh, it had never been ridden. I think it spent some time in Eastern Europe. The brakes were the opposite way round and the person told me maybe just in a shop and it had never been ridden. And I know this, one because of the chain wear, but also there were no marks on the rims. If you come down here, this surface here was completely black and obviously I've scored it now. So yeah, 100% this bike was never used in pretty much 30 years. The bike itself, as mentioned, is a Cinelli or Cinelli, however you want to say it, Argento Vivo. It's an aluminium frame with a steel fork. It has Columbus Altec tubing. Very nice. Uh, some early ATBs all-terrain bikes uh, were just steel. What does ATB mean? I hear some of you ask. So ATB was the early name for mountain bikes and it's all-terrain bike. So when you come across a very kind of rigid 90s, pre-90s number, it's ATB, not MTB. Uh, some early ATBs all-terrain bikes uh, were just steel. So to actually have a nice aluminium one, it's actually not really very weighty at all. Um, some of the kind of steel rallies and things like that of the past can be a little bit on the heavier side. Now, compared to mountain bikes these days, this is just completely different. We've got 26 inch wheels. We've got a really aggressive position. It's not the road position in my last video, but it's very 90s, very, 90s you wouldn't want to be doing any drop-offs on this bike you'd hurt your wrists but it does have a range of lovely features and quality that I do feel is missing from certain bikes these days due to manufacturing process so processes so I will point some of these out to you so the bike itself comes with this beautiful uh, Shimano Dior DX group set we got Levers, shifters, woof. This is quite a spicy group set back in the day. We've got beautiful DX derailleurs, chain set. Now, as mentioned in one of the previous videos, we love Shimano components and Shimano components of this era, you know, the brakes, they were just built really superiorly, great materials, and they just lasted and lasted and lasted. Um, I do believe we've got some Shimano hubs here. Do we have Shimano hubs? Oh, matching hubs. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Matching hubs. Little things like this back in the day where you had a group set that matched the hubs. I mean, it's the dream, surely. You know, if, you, if you're really obsessive about bikes, that's what you want. It's even got, just to prove my theory on the uh, how it was never used, it's even got the original kind of sticker on the uh, quick release lever. There's a couple of chips on the frame when I got it, but never mind. Um, we've got a Miche headset, kind of going with the Italian theme of the bike. I'm not sure where it was made, but obviously Cinelli or Cinelli are um, Italian, and so is Miche. Uh, we've got some Cinelli bars. We've got a free TTT stem. I mean, that, I mean, that's pretty much the length of my arm. You know what I mean? That is lovely we've got a chinelli saddle Ooh, what's not to like about that and generally it's just a lovely bike there's not loads of room for uh bigger tires you kind of have to commit to like a 26 by 1.95 i found that i've done a lot of restorations of atbs not full-on restorations where they've gone away for spraying as much but kind of bringing them back to life because maybe someone's owned it from uh, a child and they want to get it back to life or it's an adult and they've passed it through the, to their children and they want to get it ready for their children. Generally, it's, it's a struggle to put anything above a two, 
inch tire wide. Uh, you can see just here down what you what we're dealing with. Um, you start rubbing the frame if you put anything in, anything too large in. So back before the pandemic, there was lots of chat on YouTube and I think forums. I don't really do forums too much, but there was always chat about, ah, oh, 26 inch wheels are dead. You know, oh my word, the bikes are rubbish. However, during the pandemic, all these 26 inch wheel bikes that were in the back of the shed came out because the one thing as a mechanic uh, and a shop we couldn't get hold of was 26 inch inner tubes, just nothing. So they're not dead. It just depends on what people are using, I guess. And maybe now people are more gravitating towards kind of modern mountain bikes and electric bikes. But I do strongly feel having restored a lot of these bikes, serviced a lot of these bikes, having one of these bikes is they make a great modern day gravel touring mountain bike. One of our good friends, Teddy Bingle, has got an overbreeze bike that he has put some lovely handlebars on and kind of made into like an urban cruising touring bike. And I had a go on it and it just is quite rapid and just feels so nice to ride. And really, if you wanted one bike, again, going back to that one bike thing, as I was mentioning with the Brompton, if I had to have one bike, that would be my choice. But actually an old school ATB kind of customized is a really good option. Uh, for anyone to, around town or touring. Both myself and Sarah through our 20s, so a little while ago now, but uh, especially for our 20s, we were super into mountain bikes. I was quite old school. I had 26 inch wheels, 100 mil travel on the front, and I had a seat tube that you'd move up and down. Oh, there's a start of a trail, let's move it down. No, oh, end of a trail, move it up. So yeah, quite old school, no dropper posts or anything. And I had some lovely bikes, but out of all of them, I would say that this does have its limitations because it's got rigid forks, but for gravel riding, forest riding, it's amazing. And the geometry on it, it just suits me really well. I think it's probably my best fitting mountain bike I've ever had. And I just love them. I think ATBs are such a cool bike to bring back to life. And I think there's a real resurgence in them. There's a lot of great manufacturers that make really nice bespoke parts for them like Nitto handlebars and just lots of people that will give you the parts you need to make it a really kind of custom one-off product. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please let us know in the comment section um, about your experience of ATBs. Do you have one hanging in a cupboard? Have you brought it back to life recently or through the pandemic? Do you ride it every day? It'd be great to know your stories and thanks for watching. Sorry about the rain.